God can use three men, three, just three, to fight his war. If he needs to. To God be the glory. Yes, there are still more testimony. And this time is for the father, the papa of the house, and the mama of the house, and the whole family. I will say, give it up for the pastor, his wife, kids. Amen. I thought you, I put my name down. I'm really so sorry. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I do pray, I do Everybody that the Lord show mercy unto. He said, I will show mercy unto whom I will show mercy on. And I will have compassion unto whom I will have compassion on. But by the grace of the Lord, the Lord has shown mercy unto us. Not only unto us, but to the entire ministry. And we want to use this opportunity to say thank you, Jesus. Just like what Minister Kiyemi was saying, indeed, in my town, it happened there some months ago. A lot of people were just killed in the ministry, in the church. We are supposed to be a safe place for people. I think it was a few days before we, we arrived. My husband called his own family because I said, I just want to surprise my own people. And the brother, his brother was calling that, if possible, please, you people should not come. Because I think two days before we, we went to Nigeria, a lot of this kind of a kidnapping was really rampaging in my town. So I was like, okay, we didn't plan it before. So this is the Lord's doing. If the Lord has started it, it will end up with us. So we should not just be panicking, no matter what it is, that God will save us. And the night before we're supposed to leave from here, I asked Bobby to go and collect something for my neighbor. On his way back, I was like, just one thing, why is Bobby so, so late? I was a bit worried, like maybe he went with telephone. But immediately Bobby came home. The bicycle I bought for him, I think two days before that day, was kind of bent. He said he got eaten by a car. Then I just said, yeah, this kind of motorbike, uh, the speed one. Then I just like, a devil, you miss it all. No matter what, we are going. Either you do this or you don't, because if it's more terrible than this, that means our journey will be canceled. And I want to give God alone the glory because it preserved our lives. He did it again, and we are thankful and grateful of him. And to leave alone with God the glory. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just one more testimony. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is Sister Linda. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Yes, it's a compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I have seen the 
thank God for bringing us back safely from Dublin. I met everyone and left home. They were doing well. Last week, I was so busy because of job. You know, when you went on holiday, coming back, everything would just jump back. So Christopher was free. I asked him to help me pick the boys from school. And to my surprise, they had two accidents. First was the little one, the car almost touched him, but the woman stopped. Christopher one was an uh, Okada or what the scooter hit him, but he said he isn't feeling pain and the guy also was okay. So I just want to bless God because people will ask you, Madam, where are you? But the God who has given me these children, because I didn't give myself, he gave them to me. So no weapon will fashion against them that will prosper because I serve a living God. That is why I've come up to tango. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It is well. Yes. Uh, for now, that's all the testimonies for today. We give God the glory. We know there are more and more and more in the making. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Yes, it is time to move on. First of all, I'll call on the kids. I know they are back from vacation, but it's going to be done. Kids choir, please. Hallelujah. Let's go. fathers that love us and his name is Jesus it is a privilege to be one of his sons or one of his own amen hallelujah it is time for the youth's angelic voices of exhortation please hallelujah Victory. 
stand against the Lord. No one can, no one will.
Lord, I thank you for keeping me alive. I thank you for how far you have helped me. I thank you, Father, because I have been counted among the living. Lord, I appreciate you. I do not have anything to give you, but I just want to say thank you. There's nothing I can give you that can quantify what you have done for me. But Lord, I say thank you. I say thank you. I thank you over my life, over my children, I say thank you. Over my wife, I thank you. Over this ministry, we thank you. Over everyone here, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. Begin to say, Lord, speak to me today. Lord, speak to me today. Let your word cause a turn around in my life. Let your word cause a turn around in my life. Let your word cause a turn around in my life. Let your word cause a turn around in my life. Let a shift happen for me. Let a shift happen in my life. Let a shift happen in my life. Let a shift happen in my life. Let the word of God transform me today. In the name of Jesus. Let the word of God transform me. Let it change my story. Let it move me from where I used to be to where God wants me to be. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
Let it wash me. Let it wash me clean. In the name of Jesus. The blood that was shed. Let that blood wash me. Let that blood be enough for me. Sanctify my life, O oh Lord. Wash me and make me whole. I begin to say, Lord, every spirit that make me to go back to my sin, whatever that is in me that always attracted sins, Lord, let it be crucified today in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything in me that attracts sin, Father, crucify it today in the name of Jesus. Every sin in me that abominates sin, Father, let it be crucified in the name of Jesus. Whatever habits, whatever character that is attracting evil, that is attracting sin, that make me to be conscious of his glory every second of my life. Lord, let that thing be crucified. Let that thing be taken away from him. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we pray. I give you one minute to begin to make your request known to God. Whatever thing you know you want God to do for you, begin to mention them. I always say one thing comes before another. And that thing is to first put yourself of sin. God is willing to answer. God is willing to deliver. But he will not answer the prayer of a sinner. And we have asked him to forgive you. It's time now for you to begin to ask that Lord, these are the things I want you to do for me. I'll say one thing precedes another. They, Solomon asked a good, he, he asked for a good thing and God provided the rest of his life for him. He made sure that everything that he did not even ask for, God did it for him. Make your request known. I know God will answer somebody today in the name of Jesus. I know heaven will open a door for your home today in the name of Jesus. I know somebody will live here with a turnaround that you have been long waiting for in the name of Jesus. I know somebody will recover his own glory, his own destiny back in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we've prayed. We're going to lift up our voice and say, every power that's been following me since I was born, that is making sure that my life does not materialize, that life does not move to where it's supposed to go. By the power in the name of Jesus, let that power expire in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray that prayer. Every prayer that will be monitoring you from the day you were born, from your birth, from now to now, following you, following your home, that will not allow you to get to where God wants you to get to. Let those power begin to expire in the name of Jesus. Let those power begin to expire in the name of Jesus. Let them begin to expire in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Every power that will follow you, monitor your home, monitor your marriage, monitor your children to destabilize your life. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost visit those power in the name of Jesus. Let those power be put by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them be crucified by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power of the feet of hell that is assigned to destroy my life, that is assigned to destroy my home, receive fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every power that be assigned to my children. Maleko Zikra and Let it be crucified by fire. 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 Be crucified by fire. Be crucified by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your thunder visit them. In the name of Jesus. Let your thunder visit them in the name of Jesus. Let your thunder put them to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, destroy them with their number. Destroy them with their number. Destroy them with their number. Let their power expire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we pray. We're going to pray against every stubborn pursuer of our life. Every power that said they will not give up on the, until we go down. That God Almighty should destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Every power that vows that until my life goes down, that until my marriage goes down, until this ministry goes down, until my children goes down, that they will not rest. Father, put them to rest. Lord, put them to rest. Lord, put them to rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put them their number to rest. Every Say I will not amount to somebody. That I will go down before my time. My legacy is that I the one to live. Every power that I want my life to go down. Every power that I want my home to go down. Every power that I want my finance to go down. Every power 
that want the work of God to go there. Father, put the power to rest. Put them to rest in the name of Jesus. Put them to rest in the name of Jesus. Put them to rest in the name of Jesus. Put them to rest in the name of Jesus. Put them to rest in the name of Jesus. Every power that has signed to destroy it, to send it down. Father, send them down the river. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. For in Jesus' name, we pray. The last prayer we're going to pray before we go, we're going to pray for our children. That Lord, every power that be assigned to sustain their destiny, every power that be deployed to sustain the glory of our children, Lord, put the power to rest. Let your power crush them. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and begin to turn your prayer. Every power that be assigned against every children to put their glory down to sustain their destiny. Lord, let your fire visit them. Let your fire visit them. Let those power expire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power expire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power expire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. In their number, let them expire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we pray. In the of ages, we thank you. Lord, as I go into your word, speak through me. Touch every life. Change every story. Let testimony follow. Recover their glory back. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as many that are under the sound of your word, let your word transform their life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As many that come believe me, Father, let them receive. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I reduce why you grace. Let only your son be seen and not me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every self in me I crucify. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hide behind the cross of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, Lord, let your blood speak. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your blood speak. Let your mercy speak. In the mighty in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, above it all, when the trumpet sound, let every one of us make it with our heaven. Amen. Father, let us reign with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Every sin that has been attaching our life to the hell, Father, today let your world break down close. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let us continue our journey and listen and do your will. Let your spirit come upon us. Give us a new spirit. In the name of Jesus. Spirit to do your will. Lord, release it unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit to act according to your will. Father, act let it release upon us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we appreciate the cross of answer. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord somebody. Shout the bigger hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. We may be seated in his presence. Tell your neighbor you are welcome to church. Tell your neighbor you are going out a better person in the name of Jesus. Say, I don't know about you, but I am going out a better person. I am going out a changed person in the name of Jesus. By his grace today, I'm going to be speaking briefly on what I've captioned evil exchange. Tell your neighbor there is evil exchange. Say, but upon you, upon your family, your life will not be exchanged. Say, your glory will not be exchanged. Your destiny will not be exchanged. In the name of Jesus Christ. Demonic exchange or evil exchange. As a matter of fact, if you want to deprive ourselves of what goes around us or what happened around us, we will be hiding behind his finger, saying, oh, there's nothing called evil exchange or demonic exchange. But I want to tell you there are exchange of which you can see in the book of First King, chapter 3. It's a story that we know because of time. I'm not going to read more. First King, if you start from verse 16 downward, we see the Bible was talking about two allots that have kids. And one killed his own, killed her own, slept over her own child. The child died. But in the night, what did she do? She tried to exchange the dead child for a living child. Praise God. Whatever that represents exchange in your life by the name that's above every other name, that Lord recover them back for you in the name of Jesus. One child dead, one is alive. And the other one wake up in the night 
What she knows how to do was to just interchange it. We know every market exists for buying and selling. If you take dollars out, sometimes you want to take naira, you exchange them, you get better things. But the devil don't have a better thing to exchange with you. It's only God that has a better thing to exchange with us. But for the devil, he doesn't have anything good to exchange. He only wants to take the good from you and give you the ugly. He wants to take the best from you and give you the worst. But by the name that's above every other name, whatever exchange that have happened in the night or during the day over your life, over your destiny, by the name that's above every other name, we cover them now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says she went and changed the story. We know what is trade by butter. Trade by butter is what you want to better your life. What you don't have, you want it for your goodness. So that you can use it for your better. So that you can use it for your own benefit. Praise God. But in this case, the devil exchange is for the worse. We know the greatest exchanger is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He exchanged himself for ourselves, for us. He became poor so that what? We can be rich. That's the greatest exchange that happened for mankind. But the devil also have an exchange. The first exchange happened in the Garden of Eden. When the glory of man was taken, praise God. Whatever represents your glory that be taken, take them back in the name of Jesus Christ. The first exchange happened in the Garden. Where the Eve gave God the fruit and ate the fruit. Gave it to the man. And you remember when God created man. The Bible says he pronounced a blessing upon man. He gave us a blessing. He pronounced a blessing so that we may be fruitful. All kind of things, he said, whatever I've created is perfect. But because of the exchange that happened in the Garden of Eden, man changed the blessing for cause. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Either your own mistake, out of your own ignorance, or from your background, that have cost you an essence by a name that's above every other name. I cause it is Vassar in the name of Jesus Christ. The devil came in and took back what belonged to man. The blessing it give us back the causes. It, the land was caused. Why? Because of the exchange. The devil came and saw the glory and he took it. And that was the first exchange that happened in the Bible. And what can lead to an exchange? I'm going to be giving an example of exchange. But what can lead to an exchange? We all know what led to the exchange in the garden. The first thing that led to an exchange in any form is disobedience. Disobedience to the word of God. Disobedience to the rules of God. Fail to obey what God has said we should run away from. If you look at the Bible, the Bible is categorized to, I can group Bible to two things. The first things are the example to follow. The second thing are the warnings to run from. Those two things. If you can have those things, two things before you walk with them, you will live a Christian life easy. Praise God. Amen. If you know the example to follow and achieve what they achieve, and you know the warning is to run away from. Everything God always say and lay before you life and what and death. In other words, there are examples for you to follow. If you want to get to where I want you to get to, there are examples to follow in the Bible. There are things to do, and if you all want to go the other way, it will give you the warnings of what to come. But out of disobedience, sometimes we exchange our glory. If you look at the life of Saul, it was because of his disobedience that make God say, I am taking back the kingdom that you do not even qualify for in the first place. I gave it to you out of mercy. But now you disobey even God that allowed you to be on the throne. Why you thought you are not even qualified? disobedient, and this is the most place where we meet as Christians. We always miss it on the altar of, this, of obedience. How many people know it's very easy to disobey God? Very easy. Devil always look at your heart and look at your life. He knows when he will want you to disobey God. He knows what he can do to you to disobey God. He know where he can handle you to disobey God. That's what I always say. Sometimes when the devil don't come through your wife, he come through your children to disobey God. If God, the devil wants you to make, make sure that you disobey God, he knows how to come around to make you disobey God. Because he knew that the estate can only happen once you disobey God. Praise God. Once you tell God that he's no more in control, that's what disobedience means. Disobedience means he is no more in control. 
You can't have him as your God and you fail to obey him. So once you start disobeying him, he is no more in control. That's just the meaning. It's like a father in the house or a mother in the house. When you give your children some rules or what to follow, if they fail to do that or they just did what they think is right in their own life, if they are saying you are not existing, that's just the meaning. They are saying you are not more in control. And who wants to take that? Nobody. Some parents will say, if you want to be disobeying me, this is the door. Out of my house. Instead of staying under the roof I'm paying for, I am paying you for your food and doing everything for you. You stay under my roof and still disobey me. They will just send them back. Praise God. They will say, go, move out of here. And what is the use of it? If you have a kids that you can't have power over. Praise God. Hallelujah. So they would rather say, son or daughter, out of my house, if you can obey me. And this is exactly what happened to us as Christians. When we say God is our father, God is the one that seated upon the throne. God is the last resort in our life. And that's what it means to be a Christian. That we know somebody that we are afraid of offending. We love him so much that we do not want to offend him. We love him so much that we want to tread on the path that will make us please him. And disobedient sell us out to the devil. The Adam and Eve did what is contrary to God. To God's decision, to God's rules, and what happened? There was an exchange that happened. And most of us so far from that exchange. Some of us are even suffering from that exchange. But thank God for Jesus, for you and myself, that he came to give himself in an exchange for our life. That he came to redeem what we have lost. That he came to pick us from where we have ignorantly sold our bad right. But some people are still in that same place. Why? Because Jesus is still not in their life. Jesus is still not in their life. Because if Jesus is in your life, then the exchange of what is wrong will be taken out. And Jesus is now in charge of your life. Thank you, my this one is all okay. yeah. So, Jesus is the author and the finisher and the one that we must have in our life for us to avoid the mistake in the garden of heaven. In the Eden. Some of us are still going through that. And that is why we can be a churchgoer and yet not a Christian. We can be a short goer and yet not a Christian. Being in church is the first step, but it's not the end. We must begin to make sure that who is this God? I want to obey him. Why? Because I want to redeem myself. You must understand something has happened to you. The woman in this book of 1 Kings, the Bible says, after she woke up, she realizes that this child that was beside her is not a child. She understands that this is not the child I gave birth to. This is not the destiny that God said that we have. This is not the blessing that God has pronounced over my life. This is not how God wants me to live this life. So he, she realizes that something is wrong. Something has happened here. If you can't trace it, you can't have it. If you can't trace it, you can't recover it. So she was able to say, this is not mine. Something has happened. And I would say they took it they took the issue to the king and the issue were resolved. I pray for somebody here today. Whatever thing that the devil has taken away from you, recover now. In the name of Jesus, recover it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, recover it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because it was able, she was able to identify her own child. Identify her own blessing. Identify the breakthrough that God gave to her. He was able, she was able to trace it that God said, when he gave it to me, it will not die in my hand. I pray for you, whatever God has given to you, it will not die in your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, it will not die in your hand in the name of Jesus Christ. So he go back and he got judgment. Somebody will get judgment today. I don't know who is under some judgment issue. I see judgment of God prevailing, giving you a right judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. I say judgment in your favor in the name of Jesus. The same way that woman received judgment in her favor. Receive your own judgment in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. It could be court cases. It could be any cases. I see the judgment coming in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. That woman got a judgment. Because the king 
found out that the child that is alive is for her. And number two, what can cause us to lose the glory? I told you number one is disobedience. Number two, it could be parental. It could be from the family. We see the life of Ephraim and Manasseh in the book of Genesis chapter 48. The Bible says, Ephraim and Manasseh, Joseph took them to the father. And the father do what? He cross his hand to bless them. Instead of blessing the right hand on the senior one, he crossed the hand and put the left hand on the senior one and the right hand on the junior one. And in those days, you know anything in the Bible, the right hand of God. Sometimes we think maybe God only have one hand. Because the right hand of God, you represent the power. Praise God. So in those days, they believe the right hand, once you lay it on the child, you are pronouncing the original blessing. The left hand is a second blessing. Praise God. So this man, hold blind, cannot see, but yet cross the hand. Place the right hand on the junior one and place the left hand on the older one. Why? It's so, at that moment, something shifted. Something shifted. Praise God. Whoever that shifts your blessing, whoever that sustains your glory, by the name that's above every name, receive them back in the name of Jesus. Receive them back in the name of Jesus. Receive them back in the name of Jesus. Sometimes it could be anywhere you have went to, looking for prayer point, looking for altar from altar. Some people went to evil altar, and from there their glory has been taken. And from there their destiny has been taken. And from there they about to enter into their life. By the power of the mighty name of Jesus, whatever you have ignorantly entered to, that have sustained your glory, that Lord have mercy on you. In the name of Jesus Christ, enjoy the mercy of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because ignorantly, sometimes we enter to what we do not want to enter to. Some people will tell you, oh, if you join your cottage or you join something, it's just one of those things. But let me tell you, there's nothing you join evil way that the devil will not wait for you. If they give to you now, they will wait for you in the front. And when you start praying, people will be saying, ah, what did he do? What did she do? We will be even pitying. Oh, is he, she's a very nice woman. He's a very nice man because we will never knew where they have went to. But the result is waiting. Praise God. The result is waiting. You join it now because you want fame. You join it now because you want money. You join it now because you want power, but you are ready to pay in the front. Some people pay with their children. I pray for you. You will not pay with your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people pay with their life. I know of a man that was paying with his brethren. It's in a cottage where everybody were dying, taking their glory each time they were dying. And he was rising. But at the end, he came down and he died mysteriously. Praise God. Because nothing can hold the evil forever. Whoever that be functioning, taking your glory to function. By the reason of this garden today, by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I crush them in the name of Jesus Christ. I crush them in the name of Jesus. I crush them in the name of Jesus Christ. I crush them in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever thing they have used to hold you captive, to manipulate your destiny, to manipulate your glory, the Lord expire them. In the name of Jesus, the Lord caused them to expire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I told you the second one, the parent can be parental, it can be familiar. In the case of Ephraim and Manasseh. And the third one, it can be your own mistake. In the case of Reuben, Reuben went and slept with his father's wife. And from there, he evoked the curse of the father. Praise God. And since then, Reuben's position was taken away. He was number one, but he was taken away. He was not even recognized as number one. He was not even mentioned in the genealogy. He was not placed as number one. The Bible recognizes, if you open the book of First Chronicles chapter 5, he was saying that though he's the first son, in other way, he was saying he has been demoted. Whatever that has demoted you, by the name that's above every other name, arise to your position now. In the name of Jesus Christ, ignorance, maybe you have demoted yourself. Arise now to your position. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because he slept with his father's wife. His own mistake. His own dream. Some of you have caused that to yourself. By your own mistake. By your own doing. You have entered where you do not want to enter. You have slept with who you supposed not to sleep with. A woman was uh, in Nigeria, virgin. Was, I think she was a virgin. Watch. I saw the video online. See, she slept with, you know, so they, they come down and slept with her. And from then, her life become miserable. It was going from churches to churches. Why? Because something had exchanged her glory at that moment. 
And that's why we must be careful. As Christians, we must even if you are not a Christian, it is important we are careful to where we go to. It is important everything cannot be you alone. It cannot be you want to sacrifice. No! Because you are exchanging your glory. Even if it is your own glory, it is good. Some of you are exchanging the glory of your generation. Some of you are, you can see the life of Reuben. What is supposed to be for Reuben, we're taking away. Why? Because just five minutes enjoyment. Sometimes you not even up to five minutes. Praise God. It destroyed his own life. It destroyed his own life. He was demoted. His destiny was exchanged. He was no longer called the firstborn. His best shrine was taken away. If you open the book of maybe open to the first chronicles. You will see where they were mentioning the names. And they say, He is no more among. Why? Because of his mistake. He said, Now, son of Reuben, the first of the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn. But for as much as he defied his father bed, his birthright was given unto the son of Joseph, the son of Israel. And the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright. Because of his mistake, his birthright were completely taken. In other words, his glory were taken away. Why? Because of his mistake. Because of what he did. He did that to himself, believing, oh, I have not done anything wrong. But because of that, he lost what belonged to him. And some people will be going from altar to altar praying. Some people will be fasting and praying. But God will be saying, you have to look in one. Your mistake comes from you. You must understand and identify the situation for the life to change. Sometimes we can pray amiss. You can be facing Mr. A as your problem. Sometimes you are going through problems, you are facing the family. You are praying against the family, but God is saying, no, it is you. The problem is you. Like Ruben, maybe you'll be hungry by the father, hungry, but no, the problem is what you cause. So some of us, with our own heart, we throw away our blessing. We exchange our glory. Why? Because of our selfish interest, because of enjoyment we want to enjoy, or what we think we need at that moment. We cause it by ourselves. The same way happened in the life of Gehazi. The Bible says Gehazi went in the book of 2 Kings chapter 5. He went and took the money from Naaman. He went behind and took the money. And while he was taking the money, he was taking leprosy upon his, upon his own life. Praise God. Mm-hmm. It means sickness also transferable. Whatever the devil has transferred into your life in form of sickness, by the name that's above every other name, receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus, whatever thing the devil has positioned to your life, because here, it is also his own mistake. His boss said, This money we are not taking. Because Elijah can see what he cannot see. Elijah said, No, I am not taking it. Let him take the money because there's a spirit behind the leprosy. Praise God. Affliction has spirit. Go and ask that man, that man, man of Galilee, when he was behaving. Extraordinary people were thinking, what is wrong with this man? They bound him, they can't bound him. Until Jesus looked at him and said, there is something that is working. Whatever that is troubling your life, by the name that is above every other name, the Lord arrest them now. In the name of Jesus, the Lord send them back now. In the name of Jesus, out of your liver, out of your kingdom, out of your lung. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord send them back in. In the name of Jesus Christ, they look at him and they think, what is wrong with this man? Unknowingly to them, there is legion inside of him. He said, because we have many. Some people have many problems, but God will solve it today. Amen. Problem from north, from south, from west. I said, God, solve them now. Amen. If you are in love, from wife, God, solve them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, because we have many. Inside one man, legion, a lot of challenges. It's a woman. So what I'm trying to say, sickness is transferable. Yes. And what Jesus did, he said, out. And what happened? They went out. By the same authority. Exactly. I command whatever the devil has planted in your life. Whatever he has planted in your marriage. Whatever has been planted in the life of your children. By the name that's above every other name. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Out of that liver. Come out now. Out of that kidney. Come out now. Out of the lung. Come out 
now. Out of your joints, come out now. Out of your blood, come out now. In your bone, come out now. In your mind, come out now. In your marriage, come out now. Out! Is it because we are many? And Geazi, because of his own doing, he saw the money. He didn't saw anything, but he saw the money. He was thinking, this man of God, you need this money. Why don't you take it? And he went and took it. And Geazi said, he thought this matter was not looking. Just the same way we sometimes we defraud people, we do all kinds of things. We thought God is not seeing us. We take Paul to rob Peter. We think God is sleeping. Tell the devil, God can see everything. Ask them, don't you know? You know, sometimes you see some people the way they act. They act as if God does not see everything. They act as if if the roof is covered, God cannot see. How do you look at them as stupid? The God that created you, that knows the numbers of your hairs, He knows everything about you, that knows where you are going to, that knows how you will end your life, if we know where you will die. But some people think he cannot see. The has is thought the same way. I have the money for myself. The same way he has the money, Elijah said, you will not only take the money, you will also take the sickness that God will the money. <laughs> his own hand, he took leprosy over his body. Just with his own hand. So your disobedience to God can bring an exchange to your life. Gehazi is not meant to take to have that person. It was not meant. It was even okay. It's not meant. But because of his own mistake or his own doing, he went and put less prosy upon his own life. How do some people they went and bring a shy upon their own? Some people they even give to their wife. Some give to their husband. They went out and plug a shy by themselves. Why? Because they were sleeping around. Some people went and doing ritual. They cut their own life short. Because they think God is not saying. They think they can have whatever they want to have and nobody is looking. And God said, I am looking and I laugh. God looked from my boy. He said, look at man. Making plans. He looked at them. He said, he laughed in heaven. He said, when God will look at you when you are hiding. Hiding that your wife will not see you. God is laughing. Because God is looking at your stupidity. Oh, my wife cannot see me. If my wife is not here, I can do whatever I want. God is laughing. Oh, my husband cannot see me. I can do whatever I want. God is laughing. He's marking the day that your doom, your destruction will come. I pray for you that Lord, we have mercy on you in the name of Jesus. I say, heaven, we have mercy on you in the name of Jesus. I can deceive you as your pastor. You can also deceive me. But nobody can deceive God. Nobody. The repercussion of what we do in the hidden, it will come out in the open. Mm -hmm. Gehazi cannot hide the leprosy. Nobody can hide leprosy. Everybody will know that you hide leprosy. Even in his own case, he will be so pronounced that, ah, never came with leprosy. Never go out here. Why is it that you are the one that has leprosy? He will be using his own mouth to tell the story. Oh, it is a mystique. I did it myself. Why? Because of greediness. He exchanged his own glory. He took what is not made for him. He invited shame upon his own self. He made an history for his family. Because they will be pointing to the family. That family, we don't know them. That man, that, that, that oh. So it is a well known because of his own mistake. His own mistake. It's very important as Christians to do what we know that is right according to the word of God and know fully that if you ignore the warnings, like I told you before, Christianity is about looking at the example of those who run this race and look at what they achieve, how they run it, and took lessons from them. And the other way is look at the warnings that God will say. These are the warnings, and some of us will ignore when you know when you want to go to a, when you are driving a car, if you want to enter a van, you always put a sign. That is a bend. But would you believe that some people ignore bend? They will still run 150 in the bend. Some of them end up in dishes. They have accident. And after the accident, some people will be playing the brake. They will be playing the tire. 
Some people do play there's no bold signs here. Why? Because they ignore the signs. They ignore what they shouldn't have ignored. So Bible gave us warnings. What to ignore? What is coming if you ignore? You know why it's so uh, relaxing, as you say? Why some people don't take it uh, so serious? Because in the olden days, you know, when something happens, you die immediately. Even especially when we are here as Christians. When we are worshipping here. You have many people that uh, would have used rope to pull out from this altar. In the olden days. You know how many people that commit fornication and stand here? You know how many people that still that stand here? Maybe uh, some rope will be there, will just be pulling people, dead people out. Praise God. Amen. That's how it happened in the days. You can't just enter. But because we thought nothing is happening. We thought nothing is happening. Unknowingly to us, spiritually, there is an exchange each time we miss the mark. Each time we cost on the glory, there's something has happened. An exchange has occurred. Something has shifted. Doors that are supposed to be open as closed. Why? Because of your mistake, because of your disobedience, or because you have a familiar issue that's shut the door. But I pray for somebody today that the Lord will show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. I say you will enjoy the mercy of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever your glory has been buried by the names above every other name, they come up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. But we must be careful as Christians. We must look at those three things I tell you. Disobedience kills your destiny. Disobedience sends you back in from the altar of God. Whatever we want to do, we must do it in obedience with the word of God. Obedient with the word of God. Go and ask people in the Bible that disobey God. God never joke with people that disobey. He always give them the repercussion. And number two thing we must face people in their background that are still their glory. It could be where you went to. It could be it could even be you'll be surprised that pastor can also do that. Even pastor can can see your glory. Praise God. They can use your glory. They can take the glory of your children. Praise God. And that's why we must be careful where we go to. They say, oh, they just give you something to drink and you just ignorantly take it and you begin to drink them. You must begin to exchange your glory. And you begin to see all kinds of things happening in negative for your life. And that's why we must watch out to what we do. And number three things we must do, we must be careful of making a mistake that will change our own destiny. That will take our own destiny. Errors on our part must be minimized so that God himself will be able to stand and make it work for us. Amen. I pray that Lord will help you and help your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can we just stand on our feet? Can we just stand on our feet? I'm going to ask God, whatever exchange that has happened in my life, whatever evil exchange that has happened, Lord, let your fire drive them out in the name of Jesus. Every exchange that has happened, either out of my ignorance, out of my disobedience, from my foundation that has happened to my life, that has happened to my children, that has happened to my wife. Lord, let that estate expire now. Lord, I drive that evil estate out in the name of Jesus Christ. Some people, their wife or your, their husband just wake up and something miraculously is in their life and they begin to misbehave. The Lord will reproach each other woman. The Lord will reproach each other man in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever thing that the devil has exchanged in my glory, in my home, in my marriage, Father, let them be recovered now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be recovered now. Whatever that ignorantly cost myself, Lord, let me recover that lost glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Let my children recover their lost glory. Let my wife recover her lost glory. Let everyone here recover their lost glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, reposition me for breakthrough. Reposition me for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Reposition me. In the name of Jesus. Every mistake I have made, Father, let it be abolished by the blood of Jesus. Abolish my mistake. Abolish my mistake. I boil them with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Little by little, I'm going to every mark that the devil has placed on us, that the devil used to mark us and trace us 
Let the blood of Jesus wipe the mark off. Every mark of the devil over our life, over our children, Father, let them be wiped off in the name of Jesus. Every power that has tried to put tears into my life, Father, let your fire crush those power in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, every evil back over my life, over my children, over my wife, Lord, let them be wiped off in the name of Jesus. Every evil spirit in their life, in my life, in my home, in this ministry, Father, put them out in the name of Jesus. Every evil manipulation, let them be canceled in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch your children, revive your children, leave them beyond their interpretation. Cancel every map of the devil over my life in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. Is there anyone that wants to give their life to Jesus? If you are here or you are under the sound of my voice, either online, I want to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you today. Forgive me of all my sin. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. As from today, I will do your will. In the mighty name of Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you die and raise from death after three days. I know and I believe that you are the right hand of God, seated with God. Father, Lord Jesus, whatever thing I will do from now, let it please you. Amen. Give me the spirit to love you. Give me the spirit to have faith in your word. Give me the spirit to begin to follow and do your will. In the name of Jesus, I believe that you can do it for me. Lord, empower me. Empower my relationship with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything in between me and yourself, Lord, let it be taken away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as I go forward, give me the spirit to evangelize, to tell people about your word. In the name of Jesus, so help me God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want to begin to pray your heart as you commit this week to the hand of God, as we be journey to the week, begin to speak to the week, speak to the week. Whatever thing you want to change in your life, whatever thing you want to say no, no to, whatever thing that you want to take back, begin to pronounce it. You will begin to say to that situation, say to that sickness, that is no more space for that sickness in your body. No more space for that sickness. No more space for that sickness in your body. No more failure in your life. No more failure in your home in the name of Jesus. Begin to present that sickness back. Decree, command this week to speak favor for you. For his mercy to go ahead of you. Thank you, Jesus. As I pray, begin to say, Lord, give me the spirit to begin to obey you. Lord, as I journey for the rest of this week and the rest of this month, Father, let me have a new spirit to begin to obey you. Every spirit that makes me to disobey you, Lord, remove them from me. In the name of Jesus. Give me the spirit to begin to obey you. In the name of Jesus. The new spirit that began to obey you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you. We bless you for your word. Thank you for every soul that your word has touched. Give your children a new spirit. Amen. A spirit to do your, your will. Amen. A spirit to follow you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As they journey out of here, Father, let your power go with them. Amen. Uphold and protect them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever thing that will be sustained in their life, Father, Lord, recover it for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever thing that will be dead that is meant for them, Father, let it come alive. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever thing that need to die, Father, kill it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, as they here today, Lord, let your power follow them. Amen. Let your power uphold their children in the name of Jesus. Even as the children be going to school, Father, protect them. Amen. Good news on every side. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, every adrighted of devil upon anyone, Lord, let the blood of your son Jesus wipe them off. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, this one will not die. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every accident. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, as they journey out of here, the helper of their destiny, Father, let their helper found them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, 
Let your favor follow them. Amen. Let your best follow them. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Father, because of us, sir. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Shout in the hallelujah. It's time for offering. offering to God. If you don't have your offering, you can just write whatever you want to do. You can send it online. Just lift up your offering. I'm going to command your offering. Speak to your offering. That's what I shall combine this offering with the body of Christ. That the body of Christ will need to empower. The body of Christ will need to increase in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this offering. Bless every hand that bless. Bless those that do not have. Bless those that are not convinced. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as we combine this offering with the church, let it praise your church. In the name of Jesus, let everybody of Christ be in grace. Let everybody of Christ be in power. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, everyone that have come today, believe in. Father, as they live here, let them receive. In the name of Jesus, touch their finance. In the mighty name of Jesus. I sow this offering the blood of Jesus. Thank you because of answer. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Shout a little hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Family Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. and those who keep God for your husband and your wife, the Lord will provide Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't look for a new job, the Lord will provide Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever represents sickness and joy be taken out of your life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going out free of sickness, Amen. free of death in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. 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 Don't share the grace, please. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the hand of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Shout and hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. It is well within the name of Jesus. 